GPS or Global Positioning System. It can locate you anywhere in the world and at any time. Initially, GPS was used by the US military to locate their soldiers until it became freely available to the public in the year 2000. There are 30 satellites dedicated towards GPS orbiting the globe right now, 24 of which are operational while the remaining 6 act as backups. The orbits of these satellites are arranged such that there are at least 4 satellites visible from every place on Earth. Why 4? It's simple algebra. To solve 4 equations, we need values of 4 variables. In the case of GPS, those 4 variables are the latitude, longitude, the altitude and time. To know how GPS works, let's take a two-dimensional analogy. Suppose you know your distance from point A. This means you are on a circle of radius A. Just like point A, you know your distance from two other points called point B and point C. These three circles intersect at one single point and that point is your location in two-dimensional space. This method of determining position is called trilateration. Similarly, GPS determines your location by using three spheres instead of three circles. But for that, you need to know your distance from each of the satellites. This is done by generating pseudo-random code or PRC. Pseudo-random code is bits of information sent via high-frequency low-power radio signals. The PRC is generated in the satellite and sent to compare with the same PRC on the GPS receiver. The delay in the bits of information is the time taken for the PRC to reach the receiver. The speed of light multiplied by the time delay gives the satellites the distance travelled by the signal. In this way, the three satellites trilaterate your position. What the other one does is that it helps in the accuracy of the altitude, the exact position and the time. These satellites do not have stopwatches or crystal oscillators in them to keep time. They have something called atomic clocks. Atomic clocks are clocks which use the decay time of individual atoms to give an accuracy of about 1 nanosecond. To sum it up, the time delay of the pseudo-random code determines your distance from each of the satellites, the imaginary spheres with radius equal to your distance from the satellite intersect, and there you have it, your position in three-dimensional space. And that people was how GPS works. If you learn something new, then give this video a like and subscribe for some more awesome science.